everyone, I am Kashna Dweekin, studying in 6th standard at Oxygen Now Yogi School, Kori Kori. I am presenting before you about the Human Lunar Exploration Program of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration named Artemis. Since the dawn of time, the moon has fascinated us humans. From NASA's Ranger probes and USSR's lunar missions to the Apollo moon landings and India's Chandrayaan, human efforts to conquer the moon have continued first with robotic machines and then with astronauts. NASA has been discussing concepts for human lunar exploration since the Apollo program ended in 1972. Now, NASA is getting ready to send astronauts back to the moon hopefully by 2024 through the Artemis program. Artemis is an ongoing space program run by NASA with the goal of landing the first woman and the next male astronaut on the moon's south pole by 2024. Currently, the space program focuses on lunar exploration, but NASA's long-term goals are even more ambitious. Using the technologies and research developed during the Artemis program, NASA also intends to launch a crewed mission to Mars in the near future. This ambitious Moon to Mars plan involves around building a space station in orbit called Gateway and eventually a habitable base on the Moon's surface. So, coming to the objectives of the Artemis program. The Artemis program is intended to achieve the following purposes find and use water and other critical resources needed for long-term exploration. Investigate the moon's mysteries and learn more about our home planet and the universe. Learn how to live and operate in the surface of another celestial body where astronauts will be just three days from home. Prove the technologies we need before sending humans to Mars, which can take up to three years round trip. Now let's see the major elements of the Artemis program. There are five core elements being planned for the successful implementation and operation of the Artemis program. They are the Space Launch System, the Orion Spacecraft, the Lunar Gateway, the Human Landing System and finally the Artemis Base Camp. So now let's talk about one of the five major elements of the Artemis program, the Space Launch System. The Space Launch System is a rocket designed to carry astronauts about the Orion spacecraft to the lunar orbit nearly a quarter million miles from Earth. For the first phase of the lunar program, Artemis 1, the rocket will be capable of sending more than 27 metric tons to the moon. The height of the rocket is 322 feet and the weight is 2.61 million kilograms. The SLS consists of four RS-25 liquid fuel engines, two solid rocket boosters, the massive core stage and the indirect cryogenic propulsion stage. The rocket will be powered by the solid rocket boosters and the four RS-25 liquid fuel engines. The core stage stores 7,30,000 gallons of supercooled liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen that will fuel the RS-25 engines. The indirect cryogenic propulsion stage, ICPS, will provide the final push for the Orion's journey towards the moon. After the translunar injection world, ICPS will separate from the Orion. So now, we are going to talk about the second major component of the Artemis program, the Orion spacecraft. The Orion spacecraft is the exploration vehicle that will carry the crew to space. It is a perfect command module needed to transport astronauts through space. It is designed to carry four crew members and is also equipped with a life support system and shuttle interfaces which are very essential for deep space travel. It is also capable of providing emergency abort capabilities, sustain the crew during space travel and provide a safe re-entry from deep space return. The service module of the spacecraft provides most of the propulsion, power and cooling system for the Orion module. The Orion spacecraft consists of three parts. The first is the crew module where astronauts can live and work. The second is the service module with power, propulsion, thermal control, air and water as well as fuel reserves for its main engines. And the third is the launch abort system for the safe return of the crew when anything goes wrong during launch or when the rocket is in the launch pad. Now moving on to the next major component of the Artemis program. 
the lunar gateway. The lunar gateway is a space station orbiting the moon that will serve as the astronaut base while exploring the lunar surface. The gateway will be a docking port for the Orion spacecraft's arrival and return to the Earth. It will also serve as a point for lunar models descending and ascending from the moon. The human landing system which will be sent from the Earth will be attached to the gateway. Unlike the International Space Station, it won't be permanently occupied but will serve as a platform where astronauts can live and undertake research for short periods of time. During long-term operations, the gateway will provide a staging point for both human and robotic lunar missions. The orbiting outpost will also support longer expedition to moon and eventually to Mars. The gateway will weigh around 40 tons. It comprises of a power and propulsion bus and two habitat modules at the most basic configuration. It also consists of an airlock for spacewalk, a uh, logistic vehicles and an operation station inside the habitat modules to command the rovers on the moon and the gateway's robotic arm. Astronauts will be able to occupy it for up to 90 days at a time. Another component of the Artemis program is the human landing system. Human landing system is the lander that will carry the astronauts to the lunar surface and then return them back safely to the lunar orbit. SpaceX has been chosen by NASA to develop the human landing system. These landers are meant to stay on the gateway which is orbiting the moon. The lunar landers are meant to be ejected to the gateway by commercial rockets such as SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket or the SLS rocket. This given image shows the inner details of the human landing system. They are the ascender element, habitation module and the service module element. Astronauts will travel to the gateway in the Orion spacecraft and from there they will be transferred to the lander. The lander will then transfer the astronauts down to the lunar surface, explore and then rejoin the Orion in the space station. The Starship will remain in orbit where it can be repeatedly used for multiple missions. Now moving on to the last element of the Artemis program, the Artemis Base Camp. The Artemis Base Camp will be the first foothold on the lunar frontier. The three proposed elements of the Artemis Base Camp are the lunar terrain vehicle which will carry suited astronauts around the site. The habitable mobility platform which will enable long duration trips away from the Artemis base camp. And the foundation surface habitat that will accommodate four crew members. Together along with supporting infrastructure such as storage, communications, power, radiation shielding, waste disposal etc. The base camp will support one to two month long expeditions and learn more about our moon and the universe. The mission for going back to the moon consists of three consecutive phases, Artemis 1, Artemis 2 and Artemis 3. Artemis 1, an uncrewed flight to test the SLS and Orion spacecraft together, followed by Artemis 2, the first SLS and Orion flight test with crew. NASA will land astronauts on the moon by 2024 on the Artemis 3 mission. NASA is currently focusing their attention on Artemis missions 1 to 3. If these prove successful, NASA has ambitious plans for further crewed missions on an annual basis through to 2030. One expectation is for future astronauts to begin establishing a base on the moon's surface with a view of eventually using the lunar gateway as a staging post for the journey to Mars. By returning to the moon, we anticipate learning even more about our past and equally importantly a glimpse into our future. By successfully creating a presence in the moon, we will enhance life on earth and prepare to explore the rest of the solar system and beyond. Exploration of the moon also creates business opportunities for technological innovation and applications and utilization of new resources. Thank you.